Okay, so you'll notice with this question that the coefficient of the x squared is not 1. So it's not just x squared and then the rest of the quadratic. So we've got to do this slightly differently. We need to look at this number here and this number here. And what we do is just times them together, which makes 36. Now it's 36 that we're looking for factor pairs for. Okay, and if you do the method that um, it's just x squared, so 1x squared, um, then you're kind of doing something similar to this, but you've got to multiply the first, uh, the coefficient of the x squared and the number together to find the, uh, the uh, number we're trying to find the uh, factor pair for. Now, we're looking for two numbers that times together to make 36 and add together to make that minus 13. So let's have a look. Well, 1 and 36 well, technically minus 1 and minus 36 because it's got to make a negative. Well, that's going to be minus 37, so that's not close yet. So minus 2 and minus 18. Um, that's close. It's minus 20, so we're getting somewhere. Let's have a look. Minus 3 and minus 12. Oh, that seems really close. Uh, minus 4 and minus 9. Let's have a thing. Minus 4 take away 9 is minus 13 so that's our factor pair there so we've answered that bit so it's those two numbers here because they add together to make minus 13 which is what we wanted okay so the next step is to rewrite the question but instead of minus 13x we're going to split that up into minus 4x and minus 9x so I'm just copying down the first bit of the question not changing anything but I'm going to change that 13x into a minus 4x minus 9x and I've not changed anything, I'm just literally writing down the same question, but just splitting that, that one term up. Now, what this allows us to do is split this into two now. So we've got two parts of the question. We've got the first one and the second one. We can just factorise them separately, and that's what I'm going to do. So 6x squared minus 4x, so let's think, well, that's a 2, and they both have an x, so I can divide out the 2x. And that will leave 3x minus 2 there. Excellent. OK. Now, here, because that first term, the 9x, is negative, I'm going to divide out a negative um, number. So I'm going to have a minus there. And 9 and 6 are both in the 3 times table. So it's minus 3 that I'm dividing out. So let's have a think. Minus 9 divided by minus 3 is just 3 and then obviously the x, so that becomes a positive. And um, 6 divided by minus 3 will be minus 2. Now it's important that we do uh, any negatives on the outside here and not on the inside, because when you're, do you're working with quadratics, let's say for example, to, it, it, the question might say this, expand this. You very rarely get one like this. Okay, You very rarely get a negative here. So we don't put the negative on the inside of the bracket. We take any negatives or divide any negatives on the outside. Okay, And that's something you've just got to practice with. You'll find that you won't get the same bracket here and here. And for this to work, you need to have the same bracket. OK, the next step is to look at the two numbers on the outside of the brackets and put them together in their own brackets, the 2x and the minus 3. And then just put the repeated bracket, that 3x minus 2, as the second bracket. And that's it. Now, if you've got time, you can expand that and check your answer. And you'll find that it expands to 6x squared minus 13x plus 6. So we know we've got it right.